Welcome back folks to another episode of Let's Play Kudelka and when we last left off we almost got trounced by a gargoyle and we were separated from uh, James and Edward. They're probably on the other side of this chapel trying to find us at the moment but we'll have to find another way around so that we can reconnect with them. So we are now in the uh, sort of church grounds this is probably the main bulk of the monastery. Pat Patrick's quarters. Oh, I think we found where Pat might have found where Patrick lives. Ah, I know what this is. Okay, folks, uh, you remember how we were picking up uh, lots of little items of jewelry along the way, mostly from boss fights. Well, we have to start putting them on the statues around the grounds now. Luckily you don't have to pick which piece of jewellery goes on which statue, uh, the game will do that for you automatically. So there's a lot of run running about. Okay, necklace goes here. Well luckily this will empty out some of our uh, inventory. I think there's something that should be in the grounds as well that we need to pick up. It's an important item. That's the side door, that's where we came in. The rest should be on the other side. A woman, that's two of them. I think somewhere in the grounds as well there's a, a particular weapon that I'm looking for. Doesn't seem to be anything on this side. Hmm. Okay, let's try going down the center. It looks like the enemies aren't too difficult to deal with. That's more because of uh, Kadoka's current magic stats rather than the stats of the individual enemies. Helps considering that Kadoka's on her own at the moment. Should be able to go down here. Yes, the inner grounds, the other side. Right, what we're looking for should be around here. There's a door under the water but we can't get in. And we need to go further back. I can't remember whether we have to turn off the water before we can get the item I'm looking for. We'll probably end up doing that first anyway. Okay, I think it's on this plinth. Want to get around to the correct side. May as well have to save there. I'm sure it was there. Yeah, maybe I'll come back after we've turned off the water for that door. I think something got your attention, Kadalka? Ah. I didn't quite see that. That'll come in handy. Hi, tell us. Mm. Oh yeah, that uh, stairway was blocked, I remember. Inner grounds, the main gate. Okay. So this would be where James got in, I imagine. 
I see it's locked. And what about round here? Ah, it's another statue. The statue is holding the holy sword, Sacknoth. Treasure your mind, you can't take so held in place by something. Yeah, that's what I've been looking for. Well, one of the things I've been looking for. You can't take Sacknoth until you've defeated the gargoyle. That's going to be very hard to do with just Kudelka on her own. So, probably reunite with the party, with the rest of the party. Come back, fight the gargoyle, get the magic sword. Okay. Do I still have any of the icon pieces? The jewellery, I mean. Yeah, I've still, still got the crown. Hmm. So, where's the other one? Around here, maybe? What if I went this way? There it is. Okay, this should be the last one. Okay, that should be all of them. I think that turns off the fountain. Yep, it has. Okay. Can I get the thing now? Here you see there's a glow in that uh, fountain there. What's giving off the glow is what we're after. The pendant. Uh, I don't know if you saw in the opening cutscene, but uh, there's a point where Kadelka almost falls off the roof and she drops something. That thing is the pendant. And it's very important. In fact, I think it counts as an as a accessory. Yep, there it is. Boosts luck, mind, and uh, piety. Brings intelligence down just a little bit, but uh, we can knock that back up, I think. Uh, do I have anything stronger than the water J ring? No? Okay. That brings piety down way too much. Yeah, at the moment, Kadelka's piety needs to be quite high because... Uh, with her being a magic user, she's going to need a lot of MP for spells, considering she's on her own. Now that the fountain's uh, been disabled, we should be able to get through that door on the other side. Unless for some arbitrary reason it's locked. Oh no, we can't get in. Oh, this looks gruesome. Uh, yeah, remember a couple videos ago when Kadelka said this place used to be a prison? Well, I think this is where they did the executions. This is probably the room Charlotte died in. Poor thing. The soundtrack turned pretty eerie. Probably because a lot of people died in here. Well, if the blood's all dry, then it probably hasn't been used recently. It's probably for the best. Even if Olga and Bessie have been murdering people. Quickly, in the shallow waters, 
Now, Sugi. No idea, Inca. Don't be unreasonable! We can't handle that many passengers! The sky is getting dark! The draft! The draft! We're sinking! Bessie! Bessie! The meat is burning! It's burning! No! It's not working! No! Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, you! No! We're sinking! Wait! My, my boat! My boat! My... Are you awake? These ruffians! You harlot! Stomp it! Have you no shame? Oh, if only Elaine had been saved, we wouldn't be in this mess. Elaine? Ah, uh, yes. She was merciful. She was benevolent. She believed me, and she was fond of my paintings. Your paintings? The sun it wasn't all... my fault! All of a sudden, there was a coal ship out of nowhere. It was dark. What could we do? It sank so fast. I was faultless. Elaine. Poor, poor Elaine. If only I'd stayed with her. Hey, you! You! Hey! How's that? Just a lamp? You will make you just a lamp? You're crazy! Shut up! Honey, let's stop this now. It's time to stop. It's okay. It's over. I'm sorry. My husband, a long time ago, he was the captain of a big pleasure boat. It was a gorgeous boat. He was so proud of it. But then, there was the accident. So many people died. Everyone blamed my husband. It was so difficult for him. He started drinking heavily. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? No matter how much you drink, you can't forget such a tragedy. But he met Elaine. She believed he was innocent. She helped him carry on. This Elaine, she's dead? Yes. Why is it that good people seem to die so early? What a waste. While Elaine's husband Patrick was traveling, a robber broke into their house. My husband has always said, if only I had been there for her. We should stop this conversation now. My husband is waiting. He can be so impatient, you know? Hmm. I, uh, I was actually expecting a boss fight there, but okay. Something bothers you about Bessie's body. Well, there's the rifle for a start. It should be more powerful than the standard rifle we've got. What's Bessie got on her? Blue key. I think that's the key to Patrick's, Patrick's house. Mm. Now, is there anything else? Where's Odgun's body? Can I get around to it? I'm not sure. I think the fact that Bessie's in the way has sort of blocked us from getting out. We can't go back the way we came now, so we'll have to keep going until we reunite with the boys. Yeah, this is probably where Odgan and Bessie, well, Odgan in particular, killed his victims. They seem so nice at first. Yeah, I've managed to get uh, all of Kadoka's magic skills, well, offensive ones, up to level 2. Some powerful bullets. And that has helped massively considering the stats, because I'm dealing like at least 2,000 damage per hit. 4,000 when I hit weak spots. 
Okay, what's this? A bottle of blood. Yeah, we better check that. It might be a plot item. Okay, so do you remember where we fought that weird Cronenberg monster? Uh, back at the end of disc one. Well, there was a wrecked door that we couldn't get through. This is that door. I was so worried. Are you okay? Are you hurt? No. I'm okay. How about you? I almost got creamed by that monster. Luckily, I went down the side hallway. Walls caved in. We can't get back to the sanctuary. I figured if you'd escaped from the garden, you'd be here. Thank God I took the underpass. It's no use. This door won't open. Damn it! Is there another way out? Aren't you underneath the arbor? There is. There is another door across from the cathedral. The cathedral, that's right. There's gotta be another way out. A secret passage or something. Secret passage? Okay, let's split up. Kadelka, start from that door. We'll go along the wall. Find a place to regroup, clear? Got it. Kadelka. Yeah? Don't get killed. Same to you. You agree to meet Edward and James in the library. Okay. That's back where we met that corpse. Right, there's another door down here somewhere. That's the one. Okay. Dungeon, underground corridor. I think in the next room we have to fight a boss battle on our own, which is going to be tricky. Yeah, this is the place. Right, I better make a safe state. Right, here goes. I have a feeling this thing's just going to wail on us with physical attacks. Hopefully I can use my spells to keep... to knock it back. Okay, let's try Megalith first. Just got to figure out its weakness. Okay, maybe immune to Megalith? This might not be as difficult as I thought. Maybe its physical attacks are worse. Let's try Tornado in that case, seeing as he's immune to Earth. fair amount of damage and it's poisoned me. Okay. Just gotta keep an eye on health. Let's try another tornado. Let's try a geyser then, see if that does any stronger damage. Okay, well I knocked him back, but that's still uh, weaker than Tornado. Try Flare next then.
Okay, not dead yet. Looks like he's casting some kind of spell. Hopefully it's not as strong as his physical, or I'm gonna end up dead. Need to heal next turn. it cast immediately. That will do nicely. Should be fully healed now. Yep. Whoa. That I did not expect. Okay, I just have to keep pelting him with magic and when I run out, that's like I can cast two more spells. Once I've run out, I'm just going to have to use the cat's eye on him. That tornado was doing the most damage. Hopefully I can finish him off in two spells. I managed to get a shotgun out of that. Ooh. Okay, we've reached another save point. That deals with that. So, uh, next time, folks, we will investigate those two doors on the uh, left and right of this strange shrine. And maybe, hopefully, we'll reunite with James and Edward. I'll see you then, folks. Bye.